Hi guys, how you guys doing? Welcome to Majestic Notion once again. I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. I know I did. Yeah, food coma, check. Coquito, check. All the good stuff. Wine, all kinds of stuff. Had a great time. Loads of fun. Went out with my friend as well. Went out of town for a little bit. Just a couple of days. It had me a blast. Did a little dancing. Made a little noise. Got down that night. Mm -hmm. Not like that, but you know, just fun wise. Okay. Get your mind out of the gutter. All right. So let's see what we got for you guys today. This is going to be a general reading. Whether it's twin flame, soulmate, karmic, it's going to be whatever comes up. All right. My Sunday fun day. Okay. Could be a fun reading. Who knows? Could be a really bad reading. Could be a sad reading. <clears throat> you never know what you're going to get. So, you'll either resonate with this or you won't. Okay. And again, you know what to do by now. Flip the situation, how it works for you, how it resonates for you. Um, and if you don't see your situation here, it just means I am not picking up on your energy today. Maybe another day. Or there's plenty of really good readers out there on YouTube as well. I know I watch some from time to time. So we're going to see what we got here. Okay. So I'm going to use the Witch's Tarot. All right. And at the end there, I'm going to pull a couple cards, Oracle cards, by Dorian Virtue, and some Romance Angel cards, okay? We're going to just jump right in, all right, and see what we have going on. Whoa. My cards do weird things, like I've said in the past, so the Ace of Wands popped out. I'm not going to take it, but I'm just going to mention it. So... I, I look at this card also as transformation because of the butterfly and like some, something was uh, dug up from the deep of the earth only to come right back up, okay? But this is also a very passionate card. This is a new romantic, romantic, I don't know why I got stuck on that, um, beginning for someone, okay? Whether it just started, getting started, or about to come in. But very passionate energy. New career as well. New opportunities. But let's put that back in there. And I'm going to shuffle two more times. Alright. <clears throat> Love is in the air. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Is it though? Alright guys. Let's see what we got. Spirit guys. What do we have for the collective? Oh, secrecy indeed, huh? It's going to be a mysterious secret reading here. We have the moon and the high priestess. Someone has higher knowledge. I mean, this is deep, okay? We got Pisces energy here, strongly. Um, but it could also be um, Scorpio Cancer. Again, you know how I do. I don't get too hung up on the, on the uh, science because um, I'm a spiritual reader. So I'm going to go deep. Just like these two cards, okay? Huh. So there's something hidden, for sure, behind the veil that you have not seen yet. You're the other person. Uh, this could be anything, really. But there's a major secret here that needs to come to light. Somebody knows about it, and somebody does it, whether it's one or two, or a few of you, okay? Let's see. Let's keep going, see what we get. <laughs> hidden emotions, hidden intentions, spirituality, illumination, hidden knowledge. They could be anything. And the plot thickens. 
I think something's over and somebody just has not yet said anything. But they know spiritually, mentally, and emotionally no more. Mm -mm -mm. So, I'm feeling the end to something. Let's see. Let's keep it moving. Ten of Swords. That was their energy. Whoa. Not taking all of those. So let's let's put those back in there. Alright, my guys, let's see what we got going on here. A lot of secrets. Something that will be painful. Seven of Pentacles. The time is now. Somebody needs to speak up. With the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, nothing's growing here anymore. I can tell you that much. It is over. And somebody knows it intuitively, spiritually, and emotionally. I dropped it, so let me see what that is. The Six of Wands, Fire Energy. I think we already know what Fire Energy is. Aries, Leo, um, Sagittarius. <clears throat> okay, when I see the Six of Wands, especially with these cards, I'm seeing that someone had to go through a rough battle, especially with that Ten of Swords here. Okay. And they're coming out of this. This is a karmic lesson, I feel. Very heavy karmic lesson. But there will be victory. So, someone's thinking about coming out victorious out of this situation, for sure. Okay. Alright. So, let's start clarifying. Let's clarify the moon for you guys. Hmm. What's going on with the moon, my guys? What's going on with the moon? Yep, hidden secrets. Somebody's trying to protect a very deep secret here. I'm also hearing a caged lion. Somebody feels trapped. Okay. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. More fire energy with that seven of wands. <sighs> I think somebody knows something here. I'm not going to say it just yet. But they're protecting this connection. I can tell you that much. They're not telling anybody about this. I think somebody's got a little treasure hidden here. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about a serious spiritual connection here. So let's see. That came out together, so I'll leave that there. Let's go ahead and clarify the high priestess for you guys I mean shit it could be some money too but I feel there's a couple situations it's not just money high priestess there you go. Ooh, you don't see what's coming knight of pentacles very slow moving energy with the high priestess this person I feel is awakened and they have a secret and they're going after it secretly okay definitely this person right here is moving on from something but they don't want to spill the beans mm -mm. they're going straight to the source whatever they're hiding this person these feelings they're going straight to that person. And if you're the high priestess, which is, I see it as divine feminine energy in the 5D, someone's coming. Okay. And they're going to make you a solid offer. This is uh, long term, but it took this person forever to get to you. Okay. They were going through it, baby. Hardcore lessons. 
So when I see this, and I see the High Priestess and, and the Temperance card to me, I am picking up a Twin Flame Heavy here. Um, because we have to learn some really serious lessons, karmic lessons, clear out all kinds of karma to get involved with our Twin Flame. Whether you met them when they were struggling or this is someone new coming to you. You know, I have to say that sometimes we meet a a dark soulmate to awaken us to our twin flame and a lot of people get confused because the connection with the dark soulmate is very strong and it is very spiritual and you will always have a spiritual connection with them but it was the contract that you had with that person was meant to end because you are being aligned because you cleared your karma you know your past life karma that you had to clear up before meeting your twin your right twin flame um and it's aligning you so i feel like the feminine here is already there you clear your karma and i feel like the divine masculine is catching up to you now like i was saying some people meet their twin flame when they're all messed up and they haven't cleared their karmas which is why we go into separation all the time right or, you know, we don't see this person because they don't feel ready and they got to go through a lot of things. Vice versa. Um, but there are some times, again, like I was saying, that you meet a dark soulmate to awaken you to your twin flame. So this could very well be someone you have not met. But somehow, some way, they've seen you, they've been watching you for a long time. Okay? So it can go either way. Let's talk about the this ten of swords here don't fall bam I told you you're already there you went through your lessons and you're in your Queen of Pentacles um, that's very good okay so you're doing good financially or you're working towards it um, you have self-worth you're nurturing yourself you're on your throne you're looking beautiful and you have self-love and respect here but also again this divine masculine also had to finish his lessons so that he can come towards you okay and that's where he's at at the ten of swords so whether this just happened or it's about to either way it's a done deal baby you can't mess with divine timing when when your when spirit guides the universe god whoever you believe in says it's time to go it's time to go the karmic cannot do nothing about that she could be green with envy it doesn't matter she can manipulate the situation with crocodile tears with being needy with trying to manipulate him mentally whatever you know magic you know you know dark magic whatever it is that she's trying to do to keep this person in her grasp is never going to work and it's going to be tenfold karma for her okay so she needs to focus on the fact that life goes on and there will be other men in her life that are better suited for her when she learns the lessons and deserves a better love but whoever this person is their vibration is raising to a point where this person no longer fits it's a square peg in a circle and you cannot force it so let's keep it moving seven of pentacles going on with the seven of pentacles I love it when people think they can mess with God's plan uh, you are not God <laughs> you cannot mess with God's plan and he sees you trying to mess with it you want to rack up karma as I'm picking up Saturn here with the world you see what I'm saying karma 
This is Karmic Lessons, a long journey of clearing karmas over. It's time for a new chapter and an ending for sure. And that's what this person is coming out of. Okay? I'm telling you, can't make it up. And that's what you had to endure as well. Let's talk about the Six of Wands. Bam. A new romantic relationship. I mean, good lord, can it get better than that? With the Six of Wands victory? I told you there would be victory. You cannot mess with this kind of connection. Nor should you. You don't want that karma. Um, sometimes, you know, two people belong together and some people know that and they don't care. They want to be selfish because they want to keep it to themselves. But it wasn't meant for you and it will never be a happy relationship just because you feel you want to keep it next to you. So I'm sorry, Karmix, if you're watching, but I got to keep it real with you, okay? You know, work on you and find yourself your soulmate wouldn't you rather be with someone you don't have to worry about being in love with someone else or eyeing someone else i mean for me i i, I don't want to keep somebody next to me that doesn't belong next to me you're also hindering your own happiness so i mean this is beautiful ace of wands lots of passion here with ten of cups complete and utter wish fulfillment the happy ending and it don't get no happier than this unless we have the sun here but this this is pretty much everything the sun the passion the transformation the happy family happy life feeling content within oneself okay finally rising here once again enlightened awakened i mean spark Sparks fly. This is like fireworks. I mean, beautiful. Now, let's talk about this temperance. And before it gets to this Ten of Cups, what's going on here, right? So we have the Moon, Seven of Wands, and Temperance. What's going on here? Yep. Guess what they were hiding? They want wish fulfillment with a twin flame, I feel here, with the temperance card. They lack emotions, an emotional connection and passion in their relationship is what I'm feeling. And they want complete wish fulfillment. Ten of Cups, they're getting that wish fulfillment. Six of Wands, victory. So you see how it doesn't matter what you do, okay? Don't try to embarrass this person or blackmail this person. It's going to backfire on you really bad. Don't do it. I'm telling you. When you mess with divine connections, you are going to get a lot of bad karma back. And Saturn is here. Watching your ass. Okay? I also see this as God energy. Saturn to me is like that God energy. It's that big you know big planet energy don't ask me why okay but let's keep it moving I also see the Hierophant as God energy right ascended let's talk about the Knight of Pentacles the tree of life um, bam Somebody knows it's over, and that's why they're moving on. We have the Knight of Pentacles with the High Priestess. That's what they're keeping a secret. They know something is doomed. The Tower. 
this is going to be this is going to come out of nowhere for this karmic as well and it's going to come out out of nowhere for the divine feminines okay or you know for you or the other person whichever way it resonates for you I think you're going to be very shocked as to who this is if you don't know who this person is and if it's somebody you already know that has actually changed and is awakened okay um it's still going to shock you okay because I feel it's been a long time coming and I have a pop up here excuse me for a second okay all right so let's clarify the ten of swords with the queen of pentacles earth energy doesn't have to be okay virgo capricorn taurus girl either you watching him or he's watching you that's all i got to say he's been watching you he knows something is over He's been looking at you. He sees you as the ultimate fulfillment. Ten of Cups. And he wants victory with you. I feel he's very passionate. Um, he sees you as someone that carries yourself well. Probably as somebody that has been through a lot. Okay. But you came out on top as the Queen of Pentacles. And if you're watching this person, then you already know intuitively what's going on here. If not, there you go. All right. Listen to your intuition. Now, let's talk about the world here. Because there's a cycle closing here, for sure. And there's something else. A new chapter here that's already... It's already, like, upon you. Like, it's hovering over your head here. Let's talk about the world. Yeah. See? Karma, the shadow, which is the devil card. You see how the devil's back here enjoying what he put together. And you see he, he's looking at this person, the light shining right in her face. He sees her exactly for who she is. Okay? Whether it's codependency, but definitely it's going to be insecurities. Okay? Neediness, manipulation some kind of toxicity is here and it's closing up it's time for sure sorry i have to fix my chair there so let's talk about this ten of cups with the ace of wands and victory yeah they need to drop the burden also this person knowing that this is what's coming it's weighing heavy on them because they want to be there already but if they have to break this person's heart it, it's very difficult okay they might have a lot of burdens at work as well this person could be very busy they need to start delegating um this energy okay this could be picking up and moving completely because we do have the ace of wands here okay a, a complete new beginning so this is about to be dropped for sure. All right. Let's talk about this Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Yeah, look at that. That's who he's keeping a secret. And I'm not saying that there's cheating going on here. That's not what I see here. This person is the kind of person that's going to drop whatever's going on before he comes to this person. But this is like his treasure. This is what he's been hiding with that seven of wands, okay? This is not blocking. This is secret. The seven of wands is also someone that's protecting a treasure. So he could be protecting you from the karmic, whether you know him or this is someone new that's been watching you, that has a major crush on you. Well, the major crush is for a reason. They see you as their twin, their twin flame, okay? And when I see this card and the, you know, the queen of wands, fire energy, once again, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, 
And the King of Wands, I see with the Temperance card, I see that as Twin Flame as well. Okay. Sorry if you don't like the term, but, you know, that's the energy I'm picking up here. That's the kind of soul connection that I'm seeing here because of the way the karma is laid out, because of the wrap-up of the karma and the Temperance and this Queen right here. I just see something very divine going on here. Okay. There's spirituality. There's divine intervention. Most definitely, this is, at least I can say, a very spiritual connection. So that's what they've been hiding. They want wish fulfillment with their twin flame. Okay. And that Queen of Wands, they find you highly attractive, confident, mysterious, spiritual. Okay. Let's talk about the tower here. Beautiful energy. See, you're vibrating high. You're coming out as the Queen of Wands. We're going to double check on that Queen of Pentacles, too. The thing about Twin Flames, when you start seeing a bunch of Queens, sometimes it's just a the Empress energy because the Empress embodies all Queens but sometimes it's the person that they're with that they need to get rid of so I don't mean it like get rid of you know like that but where the you know the situation no longer is a thing it needs needs to be part of the past basically but let's talk about this tower with the High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles go the tower yes someone's ready to manifest with you you manifested this person we have the high priestess and the magician honey sorceress magical sorceress indeed you manifested this and you're going to be utter utterly shocked <laughs> and this person most definitely wants to manifest with you if he's in if you guys are matching vibration right now because I feel this person is also awakened he was a little just slightly behind you um, you both manifested each other this is also I see this card as love at first sight the lightning God strikes both of you boom magical very magical connection here mm-hmm kaboom beautiful energy and you see the infinity symbol okay it's been what did i say it's been hovering over your head mm-hmm it's about to go boom in your face like a can of mace yes beautiful energy so let's see who's watching who with this queen of pentacles here and the ten of swords because shit you could have left somebody in the past and then he's still watching okay and that could be that dark soulmate I was talking about that was aligning you to the right person but still a spiritual connection indeed let's see who's watching yep mm-hmm somebody got some feelings but they hurt you very badly I have a feeling that they only hurt themselves not that you didn't hurt you you went through it but you came out of it you're at the queen of pentacles this person still has feelings or this is this person coming towards you that's been watching you okay for some it's going to be very different take it as it resonates so for some of you somebody from the past that hurt you is watching still and has feelings uh for others this is the person coming in they want to finally express how they feel and i feel that heavily throughout this whole reading they see you as the one okay king of cups water energy once again air energy with that page of uh, swords 
And this to me is Scorpio energy. Because Scorpio, it, it, yes, it could be Sagittarius as well. And Pisces. But Scorpio is water energy. Um, they're ruled by Mars with the, you know, the fire energy. The eagle, the snake. I mean, it, Scorpio embodies the energy of the magician. You, you know, I'm not going to go deep into that, but I'm just saying, you know, especially with the tower here. So you could be a Scorpio and this person's coming to you. All right. And he could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Doesn't have to be though. Okay. Now let's talk about this uh, close up with the shadow, Saturn, the world, and the seven of pentacles. That's the closing up karmic cycle here. Let's see. Ah, look who's here. I was talking about him earlier. So, either this is the dark person that you closed the cycle with, that was a major player, but I see counterparts here, the King and Queen of Wands, so, and I also see a King of Cups. So for some of you, you had a soulmate in the past that hurt you. That cycle is closed, darling. Closed. Because you are vibrating high now. And you are aligning to the right twin. For some of you, this is the person from the past that has awakened and changed. Okay? But somebody here is still with a karmic. And either this is about to be over or it just happened. This is a very ambitious person. High vibed, the King of Wands is a great guy, okay? Charming, attractive, confident, magnetic, yes. But this is not high vibed. The devil with the King of Wands is whew, manipulative, player, sleeps around, ego, pride, doesn't care whose heart he breaks, selfish. So we're going to have to clarify him in a little bit. Okay. And in this last row here, I feel like, because I read it both up and down and side to side, and I can get two different stories sideways and a whole nother story, even with the same person here. Okay. So I can still see two energies. That's the way I read, okay? I feel this to me is Twin Flame. A very magical connection, very magnetic, divine passion, eternal flame, connected no matter what, undying love. Like, this is, what did I told you? Love at first sight. I mean, when you see this person, there's going to be no doubt in your mind. But I also see somebody in the past was a little manipulative and still has feelings. So what I'm picking up here, I'm picking up a lot of energy, I'm sorry. And I'm trying to stick to uh, minimal energy. But there are a lot of storylines going on here, okay? For one, I feel this person from the past was very manipulative and still has feelings. He either did not want to reveal those feelings because he was a player, okay? Um, and you, I feel like you're going to have a choice here because I feel like this person, these feelings are weighing heavy here with this Ten of Wands that came out as well on this bottom row. And they're not going to be able to stand you, watching you in this connection because this is like, this is powerful connection right here. This is like... Ugh, you could be standing in a room and people are just like, what in the hell is going on in there? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's so magnetic. I mean, this is like passion, chemistry, magic. Ooh, when you guys stare at each other, my goodness it's like passion like you you probably don't want to take your hands off of each other kind of passion okay 
than this person. Mr. Manipulative with the magician here. I'm keeping my feelings to myself. This is going to be his karma. Watching you live your best life with a beautiful magnetic man, your twin flame. The right person. Sorry, that's what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm, I'm catching a lot, but I can't. I, I, like, I could barely focus on one story because I'm getting like four storylines in my head right now. Because when I do this spread, like I said, there's storylines going up and down. And then there's a different storyline going side to side. So the same king could mean two very different energies depending on how I read. So bear with me here. Because when I'm done here, I'm going to read it sideways as well. Just to kind of give you a breakdown. Alright. What are we, 35 minutes in? Okay, we need to hurry it up here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So let's see what we got so far. So definitely, the secret is, something is over, and it's time. Okay, this person has learned their lessons. They're ready to move on. Okay, it's a matter of time before he says it, or it just happened. Okay. Second, he's been in hiding, watching you, knowing that he wants to make a romantic gesture towards you. Okay, he could have been watching you for a long time and saw you grow you know into someone with a lot of self-love self-respect very independent you're definitely not needy or vice versa this person has a lot of passion for you they also what I'm picking up here with the knight of pentacles the queen of pentacles and the ace of wands with the world definitely this is the new chapter that I said was hovering above your head both of you I feel like he can also make you a job offer so he might come in all nonchalant you know and perhaps see you as someone depending on what he does for a living somehow some way he sees you whether you know him or not and I'm picking up that there's a like he wants to work with you somehow okay but it's because he sees you as a twin flame and that's how you guys are gonna like start this connection if, if it's somebody new if it's somebody you already know then this person hasn't been able to shake you they're coming towards you and this is for the for the ones that have awakened not for the ones that are still assholes okay now there is somebody watching you because I'm reading it side to side now that definitely you wrapped up a big karmic situation with and they're watching you live your best life nine of cups ten of cups okay because we have the shadow with the page of swords and the tower so definitely this person's karma is to watch you live your best life with somebody new the right person and it's gonna be so obvious the connection you have with this person that he, he's gonna he's going to be so shooken up by this I'm telling you and of course as you saw this is a burden on this person because they have feelings they cannot break free from this connection I don't even know if they fully understand it I think they're going to they're, they're going to they know that they can't shake you and it's for a reason that means you're, there's a spiritual connection here with this dark energy but also for a lot of you this person's just gonna freaking have a lot of love and passion for you you're getting the best of both worlds here a beautiful man that has a lot of love for you and very passionate about you they see you as a magical person very magic mysterious beautiful magical <laughs> what did I say uh, a sorceress right beautiful energy oh my goodness okay so I'm gonna leave that there let's look at the bottom of the deck yep three of wands coming in darling he's coming in and that's the kind of person you've been waiting for this is not waiting low vibed okay 
This is not, you know, not all divine feminines are in, in their needy phase waiting and waiting and waiting for the past person that did them wrong. No. You've been waiting for the right one confidently. You're working on yourself with that Queen of Pentacles energy. You're fine. Okay? Now, for some of you, though, this karmic okay knows somehow that this person has been watching you okay that's why this is um, ending that's for maybe one or two of you okay all right so let's go into the romance angels and get a couple cards for this see what's coming up all right my spirit guys let's see what's going on here. very interesting very interesting And, you know, I'm sorry, sometimes people want just a regular reading without the spirituality in it. I'm a very spiritual person. I cannot take the spirituality out of what's in front of me. Because that's why my what my spirit guides are trying to show me here. This is a very divine connection. I mean, this is as above, so below. Okay? As within, so without. I mean, very magical. Um, it's undeniable. And you guys are going to create a lot of abundance together. Also, with the King and Queen of Wands, um, you could manifest Ten of Cups is ultimate fulfillment, right? That, that to me, is abundant energy, especially with that Ace of Wands. You could, in the, in the Six of Wands, which is total victory here, you could actually manifest things through sexuality here, okay, through your passion. Um, the way you do that is, well... When you're about to orgasm, basically, if you if you can focus, <laughs> you manifest together. I think you have to talk about it before you actually uh, are there. Um, that's how you manifest that, okay? <laughs> if you guys want to try that out when you're together. Um, okay. Let's do the romance angels. I don't know that you can focus with all this magic. I mean, my God. Fucking passionate. Yeah. Somebody's wearing a mask. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. For some of you, like I was saying, it's this person from the past. He didn't want to reveal his feelings. He hurt you, but in turn only hurt himself. His karma is to watch you live your best life. For others of you, it's this divine masculine that's coming towards you that has yet to drop the mask to his karmic. Okay? But he knows that he's living a lie. And he knows exactly where he's going and what he's hiding. Okay? That's what I see there. Alright, I gotta pick that one up. Jeez. Yeah, look at that. Playfulness. Very flirty energy. To recapture romance, allow your inner useful, youthful spirit of fun to shine. See? And, and look at all this red he's wearing. You are all divine with your white dress. Very playful energy. Nothing to be scared of. Let's get one more. And then we'll get some oracle card whoa okay I'm not taking that that was not prepared why does it have to fall on the floor all right give me one second Alright, 
attraction. See? He finds you so attractive. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So you are in your Queen of Pentacles energy. Loving yourself, like I said. Smelling the roses. Sitting pretty. Um, looking good. Smelling good. And, you know, you must you might be in that playful energy. Okay? But you guys are going to have an amazing connection. I, I mean, I see it. I sense it. I feel it. Look at that. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Definitely. Undeniable. This is pure fire. Undeniable. I mean, you can't, you don't find that every day. Craziness. Whew. Somebody call in the fire department. My goodness. Jesus. Whew. Lucky, lucky, lucky. That's all I got to say. Mm. Some people wait a lifetime for this connection. Some people don't get that. That lucky. That's why it's so important to clear out those karmas. It's so important to go within and really look at yourself. And why things trigger you the way they do. It's very important to really do a life review of where you've come from. What you've been taught. And what do you believe in? Because at some point we're raised, right? Because we can't, we're not raising ourselves. Our parents are raising us, our aunts and uncles, whoever is taking care of us. And they show you whatever it is they've learned about life. And, you know, that's the extent of it. But at some point you're old enough to have your own opinions, your own perception, and, and raise yourself and remold yourself in a way that suits your soul, which is what is true to you not what is true to everybody else and when you start focusing inward and really facing your deep dark traumas things that you've been through in your life you really start to raise your vibration peeling away those old layers shedding of that old skin like a snake and rejuvenating yourself your soul you become more attractive because you're loving yourself you're finally in the energy of freeing yourself from all the layers of limited beliefs you're pff, broke through that okay and this is the kind of energy you attract and this person is doing the same thing beautiful that's what this spiritual as they call twin flame journey is all about that is like the major reward but it, it's also not just about you guys it's you're ready to help others raise their vibration to awaken others because earth really is just spiritual school you are it's funny how you're born into earth only to return back to your spiritual self but that's what it's all about and clearing of karmas and all of that i can go deeper and deeper into that but you get you get the gist okay all right so let's get a few oracle cards. It's a longer reading than I want it, but that's all right. It's a beautiful one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost dropped those, and that's a lot of cards. Not even that. Sorry, guys. Oops. Okay. Sorry about that. I always bump into that. Okay. Any day now. Wow, my hands are tense. Okay, here we go. Guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. 
So this could very well be both of your path. Your path is to help guide children. You see how I'm saying when you get together, you help awaken the world. And what better way to awaken children so that they don't have to wait till they're in their, you know, late 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. You know, it's a it's a whole new generation here of children that are awakened that can do wonders for this earth. I mean, it's beautiful, okay? You guys might have children together as well that are going to be awakened. So, great role models as well. I mean, and for some of you also, I see this as um, the karmic having childhood issues that she needs to heal herself. Like I said, she needs to heal herself from within so she can find her destiny, her man. You know, and not try to steal someone else's. Because you can't steal his spiritual connection. You might have his body, but you don't have his heart. You don't have his mind. And you don't have his soul. So, we got to work on ourselves. Heal. Alright, let's get one more. And then we'll get some messages. Bam. And it all comes down to faith. This person's taking a leap of faith with you and vice versa. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. And that's exactly what's happening here. That's beautiful. I love it. I love to see people rise, shine, fight for yours. Don't let yourself be manipulated. By low vibrational energy you know a lot of people got a lot to say when you feel when you're living your best life and you're feeling good you know they don't see the struggles right they only see you trying to be happy right or or being happy I should say and then they think you're stuck up or something you know what if you worked on yourself you'd be just as happy why why do people have to be stuck up just because they're working on their self on themselves and their life and living their best life that's what everybody should do. You shouldn't condemn someone for doing that. That's ridiculous. You know, I was talking to my mother the other day about how people used to carry themselves with class back in the day. You know, they would dress up and look nice. And now it's like, you're the oddball. You're the outcast if you have class. God forbid. Oh, come on. Work on your own stuff, and you wouldn't have to hate on anyone. That's all I got to say. All right. Did I look at the bottom of the deck? Here, let's see. Huh? True love. Bottom of the deck. This, the romantic strings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. There you go. As above, so below have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you absolutely beautiful new beginning this is like the full card with the leap of faith new chapter true love now let's get some messages and then we're done with this okay because we're almost in an hour wow okay huh you make me whole if that is not like the sun energy, ten of cups energy, I don't know what it is. That's beautiful. Two more messages, my guys. Two more messages. Okay, we got three messages. Oh no, we got too many. We got other okay. Alright, you guys, let's let's get it together here. Yeah. Two more messages. Okay. You see? This is the tower. Not now. Something's falling apart as we speak. Okay? Because why? Because they see you as the one. You make me whole. One more. Yeah. You see? It is weighing on me. This All this happiness. Because they want victory. And they need to let this person go. 
or they have a lot of things on their plate right now but nonetheless you guys are meant to come together to help children to raise the vibration and this is a very magical passionate loving relationship I mean no doubt about it it's coming it we had the Knight of Pentacles so you know that's a slow moving energy it's hard to kind of gauge because it depends where you're at you know with the timing of all of this it depends when where they're at with this karmic situation it depends on a lot so you have to rely on divine timing because that's what aligns you two together but I can tell you that with the ten of swords the world the shadow card and the seven of Pentacles it's a long time coming and this is I feel this is the time where it needs to end so it could be from now to who knows 10 months from now okay within that time frame um, I'm getting the number seven for some reason so it could be seven months seven weeks seven days that doesn't mean seven days where this comes together it could be seven days where they break up seven weeks seven months okay we'll see all right guys I hope you really like this reading I tried to articulate it as best as I could could I have said more absolutely because I was picking up a lot of energy but I would have been here all day okay definitely a situation is wrapping up and you're gonna have a, a major new chapter with a very spiritual loving passionate connection that's for sure this person is gonna take a leap of faith with you they see you as their twin flame or their soulmate energy um, or someone they can have you know the ten of cups with definitely want this victory and it's weighing on them heavily okay and uh, yeah so please like share and subscribe um, love you guys and happy holidays but I'll see you again um, sometime next week okay peace